Bob's Red Mill packaging for their bulgur. And, and Jesse's going to be doing something with oranges, which I'm allergic to. So I'll be leaving the room at that point. <laughs> but uh, we can start. Should I grab that? Start with mine. Uh, for mine, it's uh, garlic, onion, and pepper with the bulgur. Uh, also green onion, some Aleppo pepper, and then some honey and lemon at the end. So I'm just going to be starting to chop things for a bit. I've got a lot of chopping. How has your day been, Jesse? Fine. <laughs> I would be prepping mine simultaneously while you chop, except you can't be in the same room with the orange. in the same room with an orange. <laughs> Fine with all other citrus. Just can't deal with oranges. I'm also going to be cooking a larger burger than Jesse is. Onions and peppers are good for him. Not so much for me, so I don't generally eat the spicy kalabi. But no. he's going to make extras for himself so he can eat it for a while. Yep. Bulgur is... What is bulgur, Jesse? Um, it's wheat. Right there. Ingredients: one hundred percent durum wheat. <laughs> it's tiny little balls of wheat. Although they're not really balls, they're more like grains, kind of like rice, but less regular. I don't know. It's good for you though. At least not bad for you. Mm. There we go. There's my onion again peeled. Huzzah. And I just sharpened my knives this week. So this should go actually even faster than last time. I like to do a decently fine chop on things. Since I'm just cooking for me and usually Jesse, I don't worry as much as I should about knife cuts and having everything match up. As long as it tastes good, right? Jesse, this is the point where you go, of course. Unless I'm wrong, in which case you tell me. Right. <laughs> Could you actually grab me a bowl? A metal bowl? Yeah. The onion's making me cry. Plastic is good too. A thinking person probably would have saved the uh, cutting the onion for last. Mm -hmm. That's a bit. Oops. On my part. Uh. Ooh wee. Mm. <laughs> now show me where to cut, since I can't actually see what I'm doing, and I don't know where. Well, then you can better see. stop. <laughs> that was. That was actually rather unhelpful at that moment. Uh, uh, these onions are... These onions from Imperfect Foods are making me cry a lot more than the onions I usually use. Mm, this is a different... Different type of onion than I'm used to. You're used to sweet, sweet onions, onions so, yeah. Which don't uh, vapor up quite so much. Yeah. Mm. My poor eyes. They're actually not making me cry as much as normal. I see how it is. <laughs> I haven't had to leave yet. Oh, Usually by the way, you had asked about the viewer count earlier. Ah, gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, usually you have to leave at this point. 
and I am all alone crying over my onions. The onions and the pepper and the garlic are all going to cook simultaneously for me. I don't need that one. Move the onions out of my direct line. Uh, thank you for, yeah, for keeping me on my marks, Jesse. Pepper seeds won't hurt for this batch. Mm. I hope that anyone out there watching this is surviving whatever weather is happening this weekend. I know there's places getting some serious storms of various kinds. And that's it probably applies no matter when you're watching this. Yeah. Cut up this and then do the last bit of this one. You know, you could go on your phone and actually look up what vulgar is while I'm doing this. Because I'm also curious. I remember looking it up in the past, but I have zero memory whatsoever what what I learned. Well, vulgar is food. <laughs> vulgar is food. This is true. Vulgar. Vulgar. Vulgar is a cereal food made in the cracked, parboiled groats of several different wheat species most often from durum wheat. It originates in Middle Eastern cuisine. Okay, so it's the actual wheat, like, seed things that normally get ground down yep. and then remade into pasta. Yes. I mean, not really remade into pasta, just, you know, not ground into a dust to make flour. Well, I mean, but most, like, pastas are, you know, wheat-based. They're ground wheat reconstituted into shapes. This is parboiled groats. Parboiled groats. <clears throat> Just can't get enough of those parboiled groats. Oh. My little buttons on the internet say that bulgur is slightly healthier than rice. It is good for weight loss. It has a nutty flavor and a slightly chewy texture. There's stuff. Well, yeah. None of those things are wrong. Mm -hmm. And it is not cracked wheat. Cracked yeah. wheat is different. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to think we all learned something today. <laughs> Definitely need to get the camera over there for when you chop. Yeah, this week I will actually work on building a thing for that. Right here, I have a perfect view of the size and whatnots of your chops. Not so much from over there. Okay, I will build a better camera rig this week. Now, if you were left-handed. <laughs> if I was left-handed, it would be in business. Yeah. That's a lot of onions and peppers. Again, I'm doing two cups of the actual stuff. Still, though, that's a lot. And onions and peppers are healthful. Right? One cup, one cup, one cup. Yeah. All right. That's what the recipe says. 
the recipe that I'm using also calls for tomato stuff. Tomato paste. And tomato diced paste tomatoes. and diced tomatoes. But I'm not a fan of either of those things, really. And since this is just for me, I get to choose what goes into it. Mm -hmm. I'm the cat. There we go. That's showing up a little better. Okay. Okay. And then the garlic. I have made a bit of a mess in the kitchen. I apologize. You can mince up your garlic, and then you can mince up my garlic. Because mine calls for garlic, too. Oh, yes. I can do that for you, then. I do love this knife for mincing garlic. Mm -hmm. And once again, we are using garlic that I pickled. This pickled garlic is amazing. You want yours minced very fine, right? Yeah. As fine as I can do. Yeah. Specifically that motion that you do. Completely covered by your hand. Yeah, I realize that. Well, next week, the mystery of what I was just doing with the, my <laughs> hand should probably be visible. Hey, this is what happens when you don't have a fancy Hollywood kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. You don't want that onion piece. Right, so you don't want that onion piece. There, there we go. go. Okay. Now, over here. Two glugs or so of olive oil, medium heat, let that heat up a moment, and eat a drink while oh. well, that is heating up. So that's the benefit of not being in a Hollywood kitchen. <laughs> well, while that's heating up, I can mince my ginger. Okay. Because I have minced ginger in mine, and I've got dried ginger, not fresh, which is why there's not as much of it as it calls for. Ginger that we dried ourselves. Ginger that is much harder to mince in dried form. Yeah, the butcher knife might be what you need on that. Uh, mainly it just crumbles. Uh-huh. Not so much mincing as just powdering it. Yeah. I mean, some of them mince, like they're actual cuts, but mainly it's just kind of falling apart. Mm -hmm. I do not mean to give you a hard time. I'm sorry. Sizzle. Ah. Oh, mine, I'm also adding a, a dash of Aleppo pepper flakes to. By a dash, I mean a sprinkle. By a sprinkling, I mean the whole jar. <laughs> that would be rough. It's called spicy floppy, but that's really mainly because of the peppers. Not so much the spicy. <clears throat> I'm going to let this cook longer than it normally goes for. <laughs> so there's a lot of them. Yeah, want to actually get some cooking on the 
onions and peppers and whatnot. Because they only simmer for like 20 minutes. They only simmer for 15 so. to 20 minutes, yes. So there's not actually enough time to cook them. I'm going to go ahead and prep my water for later as well. Which involves measuring out, for this amount of food, three cups of water. So prep was the wrong word. Oh yes, I wanted to put these in to have a, give them a chance to cook as well. The last of my frozen green onions. I think green onions would go in at the end. I prefer them to have a bit more cooking than most people do. Mm -hmm. They're not like scallions that just clip over the top and things. They are, like, yeah, you can totally do it like that, and most people, that's more or less how they do it. I prefer my green onions to actually have a bit of a cooking mm -hmm. and just be a little softer. Well, they're frozen, so they're already quite well, soft. Well, yes, they're already pretty soft <laughs> from all the, uh, the cell damage from being frozen. But, uh... <clears throat> but you know what I mean. Yeah. My eyes are a little annoyed now that they're being cooked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Feeling a bunch in the face region. Mm -hmm. That is looking very nice. I don't really want to move the camera, but I want to show off. How colorful that is. There we go. <laughs> yeah, if you get a yeah. chance, at least do it on the frame, right? Well, I can be a good kitchen user. Clean, clean up, up your stuff. Yes, clean up behind myself a little bit. Do you need the cutting board anymore? No. Okay. Into the sink with it. It is always good to keep your workstation as clean as possible. Otherwise, Anne will yell at you. Yes. Oh. Or you start getting ants. That too. <gasps> Maybe the ants will yell. <laughs> in just a moment, I will be ready to put my bulgur in with water and then move out of your way. Yeah, they're definitely not cooked, cooked, but they're definitely not white anymore. They're slightly off-white. This one will live to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is pretty outside at the moment. Mm -hmm. It has been a long time since I have juiced an orange. I'm yeah. hoping this goes well. I don't. Th I still this know is what I'm first, doing. This is the first orange you have juiced since we have moved here. True. <laughs> because of my allergies. Okay. So, two cups of bulgur. Two cups of bulgur. Three cups of water. That's a nice thorough mixing. Water is changing color from the, from the bell peppers, mm -hmm. which is good. Okay, now it goes back on. 
Set it to high temperature for a moment. Center it back on the, center. Center back on the burner. <laughs> I get spoiled by the Cutco ones. I don't have to center on the burner. Yeah, that one you actually have so to center on the burner. I actually have to center on the burner. You're just waiting for it to get to a simmer? Yep. And then I gotta turn it back, or waiting for it to get to a boil, then I have to turn it back down to a simmer. And then I will get out of your way. And it is at a boil. So. Okay. <clears throat> Matt is going to flee now. Yes. Matt is also going to put on a mask. Just, just in case. So it should help. I'll just hang out over here. No. Okay. Outside of the room. Yeah. Well, I have two oranges. It calls for two oranges. One of my oranges is squishy and bad in a place, so I'm just going to cut that part off. Oh. <laughs> Look. No. Uh, oranges. Show, show me the inside of the orange. It's more of a grapefruit color. It is. Oh. Oh, no. I stared directly at it. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, I was supposed to zest it first. Oh well, I'll zest the other one. Jesse smash! That's what juicing an orange is. You know, I know, it's just gonna be like a fun thing to say. <laughs> Theoretically, you could get like, like fancy juicy things, but you know, whatever. Just squish it. Kind of depends when you juice an orange. How you do it depends on whether you want pulp in here or not. I don't mind it in here for this. How much of the squishing sound the mic picks up? My guess is not that much. <laughs> You'd have to use the squishing much closer to the mic. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you show those oranges who's boss, Jesse. You do want to get rid of any of the white parts that come out while you squish it, though. Are they bitter, like, uh, like on lemon? Yeah, yeah. The part on on fruit between the zesty part and the fruity part, the white bits, I believe it's are bitter. Bit. Yeah, that. The white bits are bitter and weird. Generally not something people use. It's much easier to do when it's a wedge, because then you can contain it. This really is a different color. This might be a blood orange. Yeah. It might be. Could be. pith on this thing is really, really soft. I might have to strain the pulp out of it. Oh, you can. Yeah, because it's just coming off along with everything else. That's what we have strainers for, right? Mm -hmm. Which makes it slightly easier. Because then I can just squish everything into the rind with my thumb. 
just really ring it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is slightly amusing to watch you work. <laughs> yeah. I do all the pansy, squishy, sound thinking stuff <laughs> in this kitchen. <laughs> Because it freaks Matt out. Not all of it. <laughs> A lot of it. <laughs> I'm actually going to risk being That's in the a kitchen. Fourth a cup. <laughs> that risk being in the kitchen. I am going to wash my hands off though because I do need to zest the other one. I am actually going to add a bit of water to my thing. Okay. Uh. I do not have a zester. Yeah. I also do not have a container. Mm -hmm. I have definitely soaked up the water faster than I expected. So I just added another cup and a half of water to my vulgar. So I'm going to do just it using, use a, a grater uh, with tiny grates. Use it over a plate. I, I can't get a plate. Plates are in there and the camera, which is why I have this cup right here. And I'm just going to do it carefully. much easier to do with a zester because you don't have to be quite so careful. Because mm -hmm. the zester, you actually have to try to get some of that pit stuff. Crater can quite easily reach down too far if you push too hard. Zesters have a much smaller, uh, much smaller uh, radiant holes. Oh yeah, you need to flee now, Matt. <laughs> yup, I'm gonna just be in the other room. <laughs> that is very orangey in here now. Yes, he attempts to murder me with food. <laughs> Now my zest I save for later. It doesn't go and get cooked with everything, but I've got a nice little cup of zest. Should work fine. Now this time I'm going to cut my orange in the proper direction for squeezing. This way is the proper direction for squeezing. The other one I did cut it off. And the thing that you can do is to put this in here against there. Put your spoon like that to keep all the stuff from coming in and like kind of press up on your spoon as you press in on your orange. Theoretically, it's supposed to work better. Oh man, this one's a lot harder than the other one. <laughs> Ow! Ha! Are you okay? <laughs> one of the tendons in my hand popped. <laughs> That's I mean, not possible. I know, I know, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, well, abandon the spoon. Can't do that with my left hand. Left hand, not, not stable enough. Unfortunately, this is going to be a rather light orange thingy. 
because it calls for like one and a half cups of orange juice. Well, technically it calls for two oranges, but it says, you know, you have to fill up with water, whatever you don't get in juice, to equal one and a half cups of liquid, because, you know, bourbon requires liquid to be cooked. The thing I hate about juicing fruit is you end up with a whole bunch of juice in your hands and you can't actually get it into the thing. You end up just having to rinse it off your hands and it feels wasteful. Eh! Right, don't lick your hands after squeezing the pit. That is all that bitterness. <laughs> This is why fresh squeezed orange juice costs so much. If you don't have a nice machine to do it with, it's actually rather difficult. That looks super pretty. What was that? That looks very pretty. I will just have to watch the video later. <laughs> okay, now how much did I actually get? <laughs> a third of a cup. I know it meant for large oranges. It's still just <laughs> funny. Okay. Add a cup. window and try to get rid of some of the oranginess of the kitchen. Now, since I'm not using fresh ginger or fresh garlic, I have no need to like saute those ahead of time. So mine actually becomes fairly easy. Dump it all in and boil it. <laughs> yep. If you're, not, if you're not using the fresh stuff, you don't need to saute them. I should tell you all the ingredients. Two oranges, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons minced fresh ginger. I can't say minced today. One cup bulgur, two teaspoons brown sugar, quarter teaspoon salt. And then once it's all boiled, you put uh, chopped nuts and scallions and a little bit of soy sauce over top. And it's going to be delicious. Did you get the brown sugar down for yourself yet? Yes, right there. Okay. I even measured it. Is that my timer? That's your timer. Okay. Different spoons for this. Let's see how orange. 
orange juice. Quick. You're not going to want to be in here. You just need to stir it. Well, yeah. I also, later then, I will, or I need to add the lemon and honey. Which normally we go. Normally I would do this into a bowl, but. Zest goes on mine at the end. Bring to a simmer, reduce heat to gentle simmer, cover and cook until tender 15 to 20 minutes. So we turn off the heating sign. Because I had added a bit more water. Cooking mine with the lid mostly off. Yes, you do that. Oh, did the brown sugar <laughs> grows in later? No, you're right. Brown sugar is all for Zoom now. Look at you. Be helpful. Ugh. Okay. Oh, this honey has entirely crystallized. Yep. It's actually crystal. crystallized to a useful extent. Ah, where it's not liquid, but it's not giant chunks? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually surviving in here like this, over here with the mask with on. The mask, you should be fine. Who would have thought that there were things other than coronavirus that masks could be helpful with? Well, the rest of your allergies. Yep. Yeah, I definitely think those were blood oranges of some variety. They didn't look like it on the outside. Uh, maybe that's Either way, they're very definitely not navel oranges. Maybe that's why they were in the imperfect place. <laughs> These oranges are supposed to look more expensive. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure we ordered conventional oranges. I, I was just making a joke. I know. Gentle simmer on this burner. Uh, around the first dot. Here mixing equal parts honey and lemon juice, lemon juice to pour over the top of mine once it's actually done, which should happen shortly. I'm glad I put in the extra water though. I did that intentionally. <laughs> I would recommend the pork, but is there a paper towel by your foot? Or in front? Or oh, it's 
on the shelf still. Buy the flower. Those are the good ones. I'm not wasting a good paper towel. Okay, I just need a piece of it. Okay. <laughs> I will be so happy when those are available again. <laughs> yeah. has not been sponsored by Viva. But they could <laughs> if they wanted to. <laughs> they totally could. It's got to leave the lid off at this point. No one to blame but yourself? No. For the oranges? Uh, no, for my back. Oh, back. And I suppose I will load the dishwasher this time around since there's orange things that have to go into it. Yep. And I will flee the room again once I <laughs> have myself finished cooking. Once you put the rest of it on. Mm-hmm. Grab myself a bowl of food. The bowls are behind the camera. <laughs> I can use this bowl. It's fine. It's filled with all the ingredients that just went into it. <clears throat> Did I really spend 15 minutes squeezing oranges? You spend a decent amount of time squeezing oranges. Well, Not full 15 minutes, but longer than you think. Okay. It's fun though. <laughs> I, was just, I was just going to joke that time flies when you're having fun. My stuff is nearly finished. At this point. Pour on the lemon honey mixture. liquid I just poured it in evaporate just a little bit. Do you want to leave the thing running until yours is done cooking as well or no mine'll take another fifteen minutes. Yeah. I just top it with the nuts and soy sauce. It's fine. I don't know if mine's any good yet. Remember uh, we know the spicy blog. We know that this is good. Yes. Uh, for you. Yes. We're just doing mine because Sounded good. Yes. You might want to put the lid back on when you let that rest so that all that stuff gets absorbed some more. Yep. That is exactly the plan. <clears throat> I can show mine off for right here. Nice, delicious bulgur. So, thank you for joining us this episode, and hopefully if you try making this yourself, it'll taste just as delicious. Bye!